Hello fellow simmers and welcome back to my messy desktop. Now today I'm going to be showing you the newest evolution in UK train sounds. So as I said in one of the previous videos I said that we're going to have new install methods for installing our UK train sounds products. Well here it is and this is the start. So this is a not yet released product so this is the ultimate class 40 uh, 47 i was about to say 47 there uh, the ultimate class 37 4 advanced engine sounds and horn pack so basically as you can see we have our desktop in front of us i've downloaded so say you know say if you went on the website and you went and clicked the download for the 37 fours you know horn and engine sound it will obviously download the raw files with the um obviously the sounds inside obviously it doesn't have a manual yet because I haven't yet wrote the manual and that's still yet to come but basically yeah so this is what it sort of looked like obviously without the manual because the manual will be down below here so as you can see we have our ultimate class 37.4 engine sounds advanced so what we'll do uh, theoretically is obviously you'd open up your content manager and then you'll go on to file and then you would want import content files but before doing this you'll want to drag your CDP onto your desktop or wherever anywhere on, on your computer obviously before you do that and then basically you want to you know obviously go on import content files and then obviously you'll scroll down to here we are look we have our CDPs here and you'll want to import them into your content manager and then once it's installed, uh, obviously, you know, you want to find the, the thing that's been installed. So you'll go on, obviously, filter by installed, uh, type in ultimate, because basically everything's ultimate on our stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then you'll find your class 37.4 engine sounds here. Look, as you can see, and it says in the description, uh, produced in property of UK train sounds and as my author name. And obviously the curid asset curid is... Uh, six two nine one six eight one thousand and thirty. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply that to a locomotive now, and then we're going to we're going to see it in action. So, obviously, closing all that. Obviously, your horns will also be installed. So, right. So we're going to go obviously to our engine sounds first, and then we're going to open. We obviously right click. So this is um right click it and then you want to go down to open show in explorer obviously it's opening up uh, double click the config file and obviously you'll have all your information here copy the uh, obviously the curd up the top get rid of all that and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the EWS class 37 which I have in here somewhere and so obviously you have to select the locomotive that you want and wish to change the sounds on. So um, we're gonna have um, if we can if we can find it. There we are, class thirty seven four, E W and S. Here we are. So we're gonna open that. We're gonna go on obviously in the config file of the E W S uh, class thirty seven loco, and then we're gonna scroll down to wherever the engine sound file is. In this case, it's here. Look as you can see, engine sound. And we want to replace that curd with the one that we just copied from our sound set. And we're also going to do that, make sure that there is no other engine sounds, you know, files that I see. There's another one down below here. So make sure you scroll through all of this and change what says engine sounds to the uh, one, obviously the appropriate one, and uh, obviously uh, from the sound pack. And then we go obviously file and save. Make sure you save the config file before submitting. But before we complete that, we are going to head over to our class 37.4 horn one, which is seen here. We're going to show that in Explorer, and this curd is. Uh, Curid 629168 1071. So we're going to copy the horn sound curd, copy, and then we're going to change our horn sound. So we're going to replace the horn sound curd with the appropriate sound change as seen here. Okay, so the horn sound is now changed, and we must save our config file again. So now 
what we have to do is we need to go back to our class 37.4, yeah, obviously E, W and S, and then we want to submit edits. So we've got to go right click and then submit edits once you've changed everything in the config and you're happy with what you've done. Submit edits, obviously, and it should submit that. Okay, so submit an asset, BR class 37.4, EW and S. Now, obviously, this is, going, this is running quite slow at the minute because I've actually got a download running, I believe, um, because I'm downloading some stuff from the train's content store. So it's obviously going to take that tiny little bit longer to uh, submit it. So task complete, it's now submitted. Now the EWNS 37.4 is modified, so now we can test it. So we're going to go in our start trains. So as we can see here, we have our Trains Plus menu. We go to Driver Surveyor. Uh, we're just going to go to any old random route. So let's um, let's select the Bodmin and Wenford Railway view sessions. I'll just edit this session and put 37 in. So let's test and see if our modifications have worked. Okay, so we've got a 47 down there at the moment. And what we want is we want to get rid of that. Pass 37.4. Whoops. There we are. EW and S. So this is our sound changed class 37. Okay, so now we want to play and have a listen and see if our sounds have worked. And there we are. Sound change has worked, as you can hear. Now, does our horn work? That's the question. So we've got H and B keys. Yep, our horn has worked as well. And there you have it, folks. And that is how to modify and change the sounds. And yeah, and obviously it's a much easier easier solution now we have the um, now that we have the uh, thing yeah as you can see again uh, as with the trains plus update for some reason the lights are really dodgy on some locos for example this 374 has just its marker lights and that already on I, I don't understand why that is and obviously you know you can't you can't change that but there you go so it's all working all sounds good. Look at that clag, guys. Fantastic. So there you go. So that makes it obviously a lot easier for, for players now, really. Um, and obviously, you know, because we've got our CDP, all you have to do is import the CDP in and all the asset is already basically made for you. And then you've just got to change the curids. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys and it's given you obviously the, the, the opportunity to see the new install methods that we are introducing to our UK Train Sounds products. So obviously the first one will be the class 37.4. So as soon as that comes out, that will be in that will be the first uh, UK Train Sounds uh, products to have the CDP convert. So that will be the first sound pack that you can install via the CDP and new obviously the new method. Uh, we're going to do this for all of the sound packs in the future, and obviously we've just got to go through them all and literally edit them and obviously add the thumbnails. And, uh, and and all the details and stuff on them so they can also be put into a decent CDP format. So it's going to take a little bit of time and you know to get through all of the sounds so in the meantime with the ones that obviously we haven't yet done you can obviously still download them and install them in the the old way 
but this uh, this new method will be coming out very soon and very soon all of our UK train sounds um sounds will have this method okay guys so thank you for watching this video if you like this video do don't forget to obviously comment like and subscribe this has been Samuel Beeman of BLS got any questions comment in the description of the video and goodbye for now